Springs police searching for the driver of a white Nissan sedan who possibly witnessed events leading up to a deadly officer involved shooting. It happened in Monument on Saturday. Police were looking for a carjacking suspect and say he led police on a chase before crashing into the county line road bridge. Authorities say several vehicles were on the I-25 northbound exit ramp when this went down. They say the suspect armed with a gun then ran into a nearby house with people inside. Some troopers confronted him. Shots were fired. The troopers and one El Paso County deputy on leave while this investigation continues. And new tonight, the family confirming to News 5 the suspect killed in that shootout was Tony Mansonone. Our Spencer Humphrey spoke with his brother about what he hopes people can take away from his costly choice. It's a story you'll only see here on News 5. Well, that man's brother wants to make it very clear up front he is not defending what his brother did, but he says his brother suffered from mental health issues and had wanted to commit suicide. Now he's hoping others can learn from his brother's death. Copy, uh, suspect armed running away, uh, we're in pursuit. His decision to keep running. Party's running on foot uh, about 200 feet away from a neighborhood. Put innocent lives on the line. Suspect shot at uh, the one Charlie Trooper. And it ultimately left Tony Mansonone dead. The suspect is deceased at this time. But it also left Lucian Mansonone without a brother. I, I kind of broke down. You know, I lost it. It was only a few hours earlier Tony had given Lucian a call. You know, he just told me that his he felt like his time was limited and um you know, that he doesn't think that he's going to be around for too much longer. And, you know, he doesn't want to be here anymore. And he told me he loved me and he said he was going to call me later. Of course, that call never came. We had a, we had a pretty hard life, you know, growing up when, when my mother was pregnant with him. You know, she you know, she was drinking and doing, you know, doing drugs. They moved here to Colorado for a while. But when Lucian moved home to Florida, Tony stayed here. He just he, he felt alone and he, he didn't. He was in pain. He was struggling mentally. On top of that, he was doing drugs and he gets violent. He is. He's, he's, a, he's a very violent person. Lucian says there's no excuse for what Tony did. For the officers that were involved, you know, I, I, could, I could only imagine. I mean, I can only imagine. Instead, he wants his brother's death to be a lesson. All this probably wouldn't have happened, you know, if, if, if we just had some guidance. You know, we had somebody positive to look up to. He wants to offer hope. Man, if you feel like you're spiraling out of control and you feel like the weight of the world is not enough for you to carry on anymore and nobody loves you, man, somebody does. Somebody out here loves you. Somebody out here cares about you. Luciano says he wants to let everyone know if they're ever having trouble, they can always call the National Suicide Hotline. That number is 1-800-273-8255. Again, that's 1-800-273-8255. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Spencer Humphrey, News 5.